Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, Marek here with Trek Nutrition, uh, another episode of Ask the Trainer. And today we're gonna talk about uh, different pre-workouts uh, and how you can pick the right one uh, if you haven't taken uh, any pre-workouts before. Okay, first and foremost, I think that uh, pre-workout supplements are great for anybody that is looking to uh, increase their performance in the gym. Uh, I personally use them. I've been taking, taking a different pre-workouts pre for uh, many years now. Back in the day when uh, pre-workouts were first introduced uh, in the industry, uh, basically the demand for them basically just skyrocketed. So obviously all the, all the supplement companies uh, came out with different formulas, um, basically flooding the, the market. So uh, how do you pick the, the right supplement, a right pre-workout supplement for you uh, among all the different uh, supplements that, that, that are out there? Basically, the good news is that just because you have such a wide variety of different pre-workout supplements, uh, you will, should be able to find the one uh, that fits your uh, requirements and your needs. So the first factor that you want to consider before choosing the, the right pre-workout uh, will be basically what exactly that you want to improve, what exactly that uh, are your weak points uh, in the workouts that you want to uh, improve. So, uh, basically, uh, a lot of people will take pre-workouts uh, for the first time and they will claim that you know, it's the best supplement uh, in the world just because uh, they had a better uh, workout than they did last time before uh, even taking the, uh, the, the supplement. A lot can be uh, accomplished just with creatine and, and caffeine. So uh, relying on those reviews from, from your uh, gym buddy or uh, you know, just people in the gym uh, may not be the most uh, reliable source. The second, the second uh, factor to consider is that you need to know your limits and know what you can handle. A lot of uh, gym goers actually have this mentality, uh, go have your go home. And they actually uh, carry this mentality uh, outside of the gym as well. So uh, sometimes they will take uh, you know, two scoops, three scoops, or even five scoops of the pre-workout uh, just to get the same uh, feel feeling as they did uh, when they first took the pre-workout supplement. To meet the demand, uh, different uh, supplement companies uh, keep coming up with stronger and stronger formulas that might be actually too potent for, for somebody that is just starting out with this type of supplement. Uh, the best pre-workout should actually fit uh, your lifestyle. So let's say that you, you like to work out first thing in the morning where your cortisol levels are actually high. Then you want to hit the gym, uh, lift weights and put even more stress on your body causing more uh, cortisol to be, uh, to be secreted. Uh, and then on top of that, you want to take pre-workout, uh, which is also stressing the adrenal glands, uh, releasing more cortisol levels, levels that uh, is basically uh, highly catabolic uh, and actually causing your body to store more fat around the uh, abdomen area. On the other hand, if you like to work out uh, late at night, uh, probably taking a pre-workout supplement with more uh, than 300 milligrams of caffeine is not a good idea simply because you might have some trouble falling asleep. And obviously nobody knows your own body better than you, uh, yourself. So uh, if you know that you, you for example dehydrate really easy, easily, you might not want to pick out uh, a pre-workout that has uh, any diuretics in, in it. So what actually should you focus on when picking the right, the right pre-workout? So it all depends on your goals. So if you're looking for uh, a substance that will actually uh, wake you up before the workout uh, and get you hyped up for, for, for the weights, uh, basically yes, you'll, you'll be probably relying on uh, all the pre-workouts with uh, caffeine, beta uh, alanine uh, and taurine uh, in it. Uh, the second case scenario will be that you want to take a pre-workout uh, because you want to get uh, massive pumps uh, from, from lifting weights. So you should, you should probably focus in that case scenario on uh, pre-workouts that have uh, a lot of uh, nitric oxides, uh, arginine and ornithine in, in them. And probably the last case scenario that you might want to consider taking a pre-workout is to basically fuel your body and uh, promote uh, protein synthesis, synthesis. So basically you want to focus on pre-workouts that have uh, the brand chain amino acids and, and creatine uh, in them. The last thing that you should probably know uh, is that you should definitely uh, read the labels 
and respect what they say. Uh, more does not always mean better and it definitely doesn't mean better in this case. The goal is to, uh, to help your body actually get a better workout and not to stress it uh, even more by taking uh, too much uh, stimulus. Please remember that your adrenal glands actually have uh, a certain capacity. So even if you increase the dosage or even change the pre-workout, uh, they will not be uh, secreting uh, you know, the same amount of adrenaline just because of the stimulus. So uh, the best pre-workouts that I personally recommend would be the ones with a lot of uh, nitric oxides, uh, arginine, ornithine, uh, creatine, and the BCAs, so the branch chain amino acids. Just because those are basically the substances that your body will always need and always rely on uh, when working out and supplying them will basically make your um, uh, workouts more efficient and you'll be, you'll be able to get the most out of them. Okay, I really hope that th this helps, that you'll find this information useful. Uh, please let me know what you think about this video. Uh, in order to do that, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and ask me more questions so I can answer them in the next episode. Thanks a lot and uh, take care.